Now, before we get into this recipe, which by the way is so easy, like a child could do it, I just wanna let you guys know now that at the end of this video, I'm gonna unofficially announce to you who the YouTube house cast is. In another video, we'll announce it more officially, but just stay tuned, guys. All right, my friends, let's get right into this recipe. The first step is to find yourself some delicious looking spuds. You're gonna take your potatoes, you're gonna give them a quick wash and a quick brush with the back of a sponge, but I do not like to wipe off all of the dirt because I believe there's actually a good amount of minerals and vitamins that you can get in from it. All right, now that you got your spuds all cleaned up, this is pretty much the entire technique with this. You're just gonna to cut vertically down the potato so that when these cook you can very quickly separate them into two halves just like this and then we're just gonna throw these into the microwave. Now, when you put these potatoes in the microwave, you do want them to come out nice and soft. So if you're gonna use just one medium-sized potato, I would say somewhere around two and a half minutes, three and a half minutes is gonna get you that softness, but each potato that you add is gonna exponentially increase the amount of time you need in the microwave. So if you're gonna do two, you're probably gonna need about five minutes. If you're gonna do three, you're probably gonna need around six and a half, seven minutes. Now when you open it up, if they are soft, then some of them will start splitting open just like this one. This one is absolutely perfect, just like that. Like I was saying, once you cut them like that, when they soften up, it makes it very easy. I can even open it with just one hand to make these perfect split halves. You're gonna wanna turn your heat on to a, like a low or a medium. You don't wanna fry these out when they first land. You wanna let them cook a little bit. This step is completely optional because I know a lot of people do not have any fat in their diet at all. They try to remove it completely and I know a lot of people don't like oil, but if you do like oil, you can add this to the bottom of the pan. This will add just a little tiny bit of uh, like crispiness to it. Now all you're gonna do, and this is freaking awesome, is you just gonna drop those halves into the frying pan like that and you're gonna hear them start to sizzle a little bit and the top of them, the inside part, is gonna get a nice little golden brown to it. Now, depending on whether you microwave these into the point that they're actually legitimately super soft or if they still have a little bit of hardness to them, you can either leave the top off, if they're super soft, or if they need a little bit more cooking, you can throw the top on and then that'll help them cook more. But the great thing is this is only gonna take about three to six minutes, depending on how beefy you want this to get, how crunchy you want it to get. So it's perfect to also throw in a bunch of vegetables into another pan, and then boom, just like that without even having to try, you just made yourself a pretty balanced, nice, full, healthy meal. Now after the time has elapsed, you can keep turning over these potatoes as they're cooking, by the way, and see how they look, but they should be looking like this. That should be your finished product. Nice, golden brown, a little bit of spots on there. Seriously, so good, because it's it takes that soft, potato that you cooked super fast without having to bake it in the oven and then makes it crunchy so it's not amateur it's it's professional amateur Ooh, the finished product is looking real real good man I got my mouth water right now I can't wait to eat these I'm super excited as I was going through this recipe I was speaking into the microphone so I was able to kind of give you a play-by-play -play. I think this might be the way that I want to do videos from now on when it comes to food cooking so that I can really take you with me but make it in a nice guided way did you like this type of video more or would you rather I commentate it after I shoot the food itself? I appreciate your feedback and now on to the YouTube house cat. You made it to the end of the video. Hopefully you try those out. Hopefully you like them because I literally make those maybe four or five times a week. I make them almost every single day. It's such a good way to have potatoes. But I know what a lot of you guys are here for. I know a lot of you guys just skipped right to the end of the video because you wanted to see who is in the YouTube house this year. By the way, the YouTube house this year is January 4th to the 14th, which means that it's in a few days. Before I tell you who's on the list, I just want to say this. For the last three or four days, I've taken off of social media just to like relax for the holidays. But man, it is hard to get back into it. So please accept that. Understand that I'm trying to get back into the hustle and everything. It'll take a couple of videos and then we'll be right back to where we were and then we'll be at the YouTube house which is gonna be awesome so here we go my friends are you ready for me to read it off to you we have Brittany Lesser we have Chelsea Liss. we've got Craig Ritchie we got Eric the electric obese to beast Meg squats Nate Figueroa naturally Stephanie and Yami Mufti and finally me my friends it is going to be such a freaking blast we got some people returning we got some new people coming in it is going to be such an interesting matchup this year I think we have the most diverse cast we have people who are crossfitters power lifters uh, food eaters like competitive food eating and that's exactly what I wanted with this house like I always want it to be diverse I don't want it to just be one type of fitness I don't want to even just only be fitness people eventually I like that it's like this you know I enjoy the randomness I enjoy the collaboration of ideas I enjoy being in the house like being able to just physically immediately speak to someone else who is in the same lane as you creating videos being a content creator and stuff and get ideas bouncing back and forth I come out with like this new vigor I'm super excited for everything so I cannot wait it is gonna be a blast make sure that you guys watch every single episode they're gonna be hosted on a playlist on my channel here and it is going to be an absolute blast 
after you guys can see everybody from the YouTube house at the LA Fit Expo if you do want to do a meet and greet. That is it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you one of my favorite staple foods and how simple and easy it is because people will think you're a super chef, but really, you're just a bro. You don't know nothing about cooking and it's fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you do like it, please let me know what you thought. Let me know on Instagram or something that you tried. Let me see in a Snapchat or whatever. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already. Team Beyond the Week. CT Lift heavy or die Myron motherfucker. Team mm. Beyond the Week. CT Lift heavy or die Myron.